This world is full of natural calamities like flood, cyclone, earthquake, etc. And Jawad is also a natural calamity which is one kind of cyclonic storm. At the end of 2021, the cyclonic storm Jawad has attacked mainly India and partially Bangladesh in December. In the Andaman Sea, a low pressure area had created on 13th November and later this low pressure had turned into a cyclonic storm named Jawad. The name of this cyclonic storm is given by Saudi Arabia and the pronunciation of the word is actually Zuad. This is a Quranic word means generous, liberal, merciful, noble, gracious, open-handed, etc. Because of the positive meanings of this word, everyone thought that Jawad would not be as disastrous as the previous cyclonic storms. According to India Meteorological Department, Jawad turned into a depression on 2nd December, further it intensified into a deep depression on 3rd December morning and finally shaped into a cyclonic storm on 3rd December noon. In North Coastal Andhra Pradesh and South Coastal Odisha, very heavy rainfall was started from 3rd December evening and the continuous rainfall was increased on 4th December. India Meteorological Department had issued a red color alert in West Bengal coast as well as orange and yellow color alerts in some other districts from 4 to 5 December by predicting heavy to very heavy rainfall. For shipping and fishermen, river and sea conditions were uns remained unsafe in the central and north bay of Bengal from 3rd to 5th December. To avoid severe damage, Indian government took necessary initiatives to protect life and property, like people were removed from low-lying areas, control rooms were launched for disaster response in the affected districts, etc. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi also instructed the officials to take all necessary steps to keep people and property safe and sound. On 4th December at 5.30 a.m., Jawad was placed centered over West Central Bay of Bengal about 230 km southeast of Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh and 410 km south southeast of Puri Uisha. It was weakened into a deep depression before making landfall near Puri in Uisha on 5th December. Because of heavy rainfall, ferry services on Hooghly River was stopped and the government of West Bengal was requested tourists to avoid visit seaside areas. Cyclonic storm Jawad affected the area of North Andhra Pradesh, South Urisha, Puri, some districts of Tamil Nadu, West Bengal including Howrah, Hooghly and Kolkata etc. In spite of taking proper initiatives to tackle Jawad, still the government had to face many unwanted situations because it had caused a great damage to crops, property and animals. Many people became homeless and shelterless as houses were washed away. People had to stay foodless, cattle and other animals were washed away, trees were uprooted, road and crops were gone underwater, even many people and wild animals were died. However, the government of India took quick steps to help the affected people by providing them shelter, health and fresh drinking water, telecommunication, electricity and restored them immediately in case of any interruption in them, etc. Hopefully, the people of affected areas by cyclonic storm Jawad will overcome from the situation with the help of their government and will live a normal life again.